Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing how to get all six Sinister Pumpkin in Epic Mining 2. So for the first pumpkin, it is right over here. Now for the next pumpkin, all we have to do is run all the way into the forest. We have to wait for a stamina to recharge a bit. There. Now it's time for us to run all the way to the lumberjack. Right behind the lumberjack, you will find Sinister Q. Now, for the next step, all we have to do is simply find one cursed key. These cursed keys can be found somewhere in the mines. It will spawn anywhere in the mine, so all you have to do is get lucky. Or you can spend 25 Robux at the cursed gate to simply get it. Now that we have got the cursed key, it's right here. A tip to find the cursed key is that around it, it will sometimes shine a bright light that you can see from a distance. So be sure to find it. Now that we have gotten one cursed key, it's time for us to enter into the cursed gate. Now as we have entered the cursed gate, we'll first be found Sinister T hiding right behind here. So be sure to get him. Now all we have to do is run right outside, go right behind the store. At the store you can buy the new stuff with the cursed keys if you want them. Now all we have to do is simply do a little bit of parkour and climb all the way up. Be sure to have stamina while doing this as it is recommended to have some stamina. Now that I've entered into here. We simply have to do a little bit more parkour, jump up through all this light onto the crate. Now that we have jumped all the way, we should find the next pumpkin, Sinister V, hiding right here. As you have entered into the cursed gate, you will be rewarded with three soul potions. Using these soul potions is how you get to the next area. So all we have to do is get right back to the surface, as we have right here. We equip one of the soul potions and we drink it. As we drink, we'll be teleported right to hell. And here we'll find our next pumpkin waiting right around in this area. Sinister R. You can, if you feel lucky enough, mine all the way to hell and find it by yourself. But that would take forever, so I don't recommend doing that. Now for the last pumpkin, and the hardest one of them all in my opinion, is that pumpkin right there. All we have to do to get it is brew potions. My tip when brewing potion is don't bother with the with luck potion or the speedy potion. Only do the purple one at the top. Both potions will always give you 25 XP. So do not attempt to do that. My other tip is mine straight down into hell. And while you're there, place down a checkpoint where you find the magma spores and sometimes red room spawning there. And just grind it. Grind and grind all the way, as it will take forever. For me, it took about 30 to 40 minutes just to get it. So, as you can see, with the speed up. Now, now down here, we should probably get all of the shrooms that are down here. And we seem to not... Oh, there one spawns. And another one. Are they the only ones? Yeah, I guess so. Alright then. Now that we have gotten all of the shrooms, it's time for us to simply brew the facing potion. Lava barrel, 5 magma spores, red, 3 red shrooms. And that is all. If you feel like it, you, you could brew it 5 times and you will get the level 5 potion without even having to wait forever. Because this potion gives you 50 XP instead of 25. But only if you, feel you like grinding it for a bit. As for me, I did that off camera so I can brew the salt potion whenever I want. So, now that we have gotten it, it's time for us to go back up to the surface, run all the way back into the cobweb, and simply drink the potion. As you are at the cobweb, you will get inside and get Sinister S. And while doing so, you will get the Flameheart Helmet. 
That was all for this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.